Yeah, hello! What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Roman Puss, or Roman, back here with some more OPBR. We're going to talk about the balance changes that we finally get to see and what's happening. We don't have too much detail. Like, we do, but we don't see, like, official numbers yet. But there are a fat amount of changes, kind of. I wish there was a little more to specific characters, but they left it pretty broad of an adjustment and we're gonna see if it's actually viable so let's take a look okay so this is what we have we have a bunch of stat on hp attack and defense for all of this fat list of characters from like akainu kiji and i don't even think yeah no saka or kizuru they didn't left out like they didn't even touch kizuru which, I don't know, I guess he's been faring well. Like, I, there was, what is it, the player Barcelino, he actually, I played against him not too long ago, and he actually did really well. So, like, maybe Kizuru doesn't necessarily need it, but the issue, like, Shanks and Blackbeard just aren't here on my list, and are pretty much the things I can easily deal with him. So, I just, like, these are, like, all the stat changes for this fat list, which I'm surprised they did, like, Reiju. I think Reiju's actually been faring pretty well in the current meta, so... I'm surprised by that, and I'm surprised, like, we have green Hancock, but we don't have red Hancock on here. And I don't know why she's not on there. Like, the red Hancock's just been so not the greatest for so long. Like, I want her to be greater. I want her to be so much stronger than what she is. I just... If she would have done these buffs that we're about to look at in the middle, or if she would have gotten those buffs, I think she would have been much better. But those are just basic stat boosts, so we'll see how that affects these characters, and see if it makes them a little better. Like, Law, I think, definitely needed it. Like, Law is, like, very good utility-wise, but he definitely is kind of lackluster in some of the stats compared to, like, he could, you can, Blackbeard can, like, literally one-shot him easily every time. I get color advantage, but, like... There's a lot of other people I have color advantage, like with the new ace, I have color advantage against him, but I can't one-shot him nearly as much as I can the law. So, that's just, just like a big thing right there. Hopefully, Kid will become useful. I don't know. I think just he needs some kind of extra changes and whatnot. Um, the motion adjustments. Thank God. Ki Akainu, I'm going to do, like check out Akainu and do another video and see his improvement and see whether he is better or not because those auto attacks were terrible holy shit and then kiji's getting a buff too that if that brings kiji's out that'll be fairly annoying because kiji is so tanky and he's actually like with the freeze thing and when you hit him it's like obnoxious did you like re did you guys realize blackbeard can actually freeze in the middle of his black hole when he's like attacking a kiji so like you can just be attacking and all of a sudden you're frozen and then it's just your ability stops just everything stops it's actually so annoying so i think that's really cool um these adjustments made to skills these have been needed for so long holy i'm so excited for these we get to increase the speed at which the skills activate for akainu for skill two that's needed that for so long it literally takes 10 years and it's so easy to dodge so like that's been like needed to be a thing for so long i really hope they do these balance changes more often than what like we've gotten like two major balance changes throughout the year like correct me if i'm wrong but i think i only can count like two major ones there's some small ones between that like like maybe like three more small ones between that but like it was nothing drastic but we've only had like two major ones like this and this is the second one i believe and yeah and then there's like that smoker thing like all i did was add a stun effect to like step of skill one like that's irrelevant that's not like really a balance change there really isn't do anything to be honest but and then we have some number changes for just like the two years like why like they're just all over the two years all the time and i don't get it like no just just peace with them honestly just pull them out of those like poles like the step up poles i just the two years gotta go like boost the rates of the other characters and just dish the two years because uh uh you can keep same percentage of to get a four star and yeah uh this white beard buff love it that's what he's needed he should not have to be below 30 percent if you're below 30 percent already you're probably going to be dead pretty soon so this will actually be fat because white beard gets extremely tanky when he has that um when he has that buff on so that can be really good useful and it is just a defense buff though so like nothing crazy like you're still probably going to get one shot by zoro Druo. and yeah 
and shanks most likely so it'll help but it's not a game changer in my opinion defense buffs don't do anything too crazy so uh with nami tears nami we'll see if this even helps reduce the cooldown time of skill one by 15 percent so she gets the extra cdr that's kind of nice okay i don't even remember which one was that which one is which i've never played her to be honest so she's just kind of been whatever I don't, i've never been a big nami fan so yeah uh so if you do usap you get your strength gonna win more than 80 percent you're gonna boost capture speed by 50 percent good he's kind of needed that um yeah, he's kind of needed that just to keep up with other runners. That's like literally every runner kind of has that ability now. So cool, worth. Um, when your strength is less than thirty percent, you boost attack by thirty percent. When your strength is more than eighty percent, boost capture speed by fifty percent. Good, updating runners, cool. Um, Frankie, when your team is KO, boost defense by thirty percent. That's good. That will be solid. It's kind of like Moria, and then the. 2% to 3%, I don't know if that's really that much of a game changer on the green Hancock. I don't know if that'll do too much, but we'll see. So, I kind of, like, these help, these changes, they'll be neat. Like, yeah, I don't get why they're always on the two-year straw hat all the time. It just, I like, they really just, like, why touch those? Like, I guess that maybe, like, that's the fans. I don't know. I guess people are the biggest fans of them. So, I'm just not, so maybe I'm just being biased here, but... I am blatantly being biased here. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I would have liked to see things like... Like, Blackbeard, in my opinion, to help a little bit without, like, destroying him. I think it would still... He'd still be stronger than people, but I don't think he needs the revive necessarily. And I don't think he needs the attack buff. Or at least just remove the attack buff. He doesn't need that. He is a defender. Why is he getting an attack buff when he's knocked down? That one doesn't make sense to me. And then with Shanks, I'd say either his heal or his defense buff or both. Those are like the things that I would probably remove from them to kind of help balance out a little bit. Maybe that Blackbeard revive is really nice, but like I don't think the revive plays into his character at all. So... I mean, like, same with the revive on Kaido, I don't think it makes too much sense. Like, if anything, Brook, I would have had rather had, like, Brook have a revive of some sort like that. But it just doesn't, I don't know, it seems unnecessary on Blackbeard, given he has an invulnerability of inability, so it makes him invincible. So, yeah, that's what I would have liked to see, but that didn't happen, that's alright. We're all here to baby rage, so cool. Um, that's the changes that we're getting for the 18th. Uh, if you guys weren't sure how to puzzle to, like, how to absolutely get that, just hit that newsfeed button and then hit this regarding balance adjustments. I don't know, some people can't find the stuff, so that's where that is. We'll see if these stat changes help or do anything for the game. We'll see if quality of life improvements happen, and hopefully that happens. So that's the balance changes we have for you guys. I know I haven't gotten too much gameplay recently. I've been really busy doing all sorts of stuff with the videos and stuff. And yeah, I'm going to be getting a lot more gameplay video this week. So I'm going to focus on that. And yeah, so I love you guys. You're the best. Be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of these. Uh, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. I love you guys. You're all the best. And I'm your boy, Roman Puss, and we're taking off. Yeah, hurry. Peace.